has something that's the kind of project that once you get started on it, you want to just scream, all hell no. Before you get to the all hell no moment, I'm going to show you how to get off of that path. But this is the kind of thing that I had to learn because I got to that all hell no moment a lot. Here's the situation. In this worksheet, we have players, teams, the season that they're in, and data about their fees. So Dale is in her first season with the future. Ibrahim is in his sixth season with the Leopards. We go down. Prescott is in his fourth season with the future and has not paid his fee. So we've got a long list of data. Now there is some information that's being requested about each team. We want to know the team name, of course, the team captain, the number of players, the number of first-year players, total fees paid, and a count of the unpaid fees. We'd like that for every team. Okay, so then we get started. Okay, so we've got, we've got the future, Razors, Frenzy. Okay, so we can start making our list say future great add another sheet razors okay add another sheet frenzy wait how many teams are there Okay, let's make a pivot table. Insert pivot table. Put that in the rows. There are nine teams. How many people are there? Let's put that in the values. 131 people. And there is something else. Over here, we have three more teams and more people to add. This is when you say, oh, hell no. And you can go to your car and get your sword and come back and wave it in front of the person who's told you to go do all this stuff. So you got nine teams already, and then the three more that haven't been integrated in yet. That's 12 pages, 12 separate pages, 12 separate pages of formulas, things that can go wrong. If there's one change that needs to be made to the overall report, that's got to happen 12 individual times. No, I'm not doing it. You're not doing it. All right, this is what we're going to do. First, we're going to delete these individual sheets. Future, bye-bye, razors, bye-bye, frenzy, bye-bye. Here is our master list. The master list has all of the teams, their colors, captain, the sponsors. Now we can go to this report page and get things set up. So let's say we want the team. We want to bring in the captain. Okay, we want to bring in this data on the master list. On the master list first, put this in a table. Table has headers, boom, okay. Let's highlight the team names and name that range teams. Let's go back to the report page and go to data, data validation. 
list all right we have our teams in a drop down list Crazy. okay razors okay good let's add the panthers to the teams section Go to the report. Panthers show up for it. Great. Good. And I'm going to get rid of these grid lines. View grid lines. Excellent. Now it's easy for us to have formulas that will look at the source data and bring the relevant details here on the report page. How do we pull in the captain data? What we have to do is say equals VLOOKUP. Razors comma, where do we want to look for razors on the master list? Comma, once it's found razors, how many steps do we want to go in order to pull the captain data? It's one, two, three, four. comma, false, because we want an exact match. Beautiful. Razors is pulling Dominique. Razors, Dominique. Excellent. And let's go back to the report tab and change this and see what happens. The governors, Larissa, Panthers, Nobody, because we didn't fill in the complete information yet. So let's do that. Okay. Panthers is now showing Renee as the captain. From here, count ifs and some ifs. Number of players, and we're going to our source data, and that's on the fees and teams tab. Let's put this data into a table. And name the table, let's call it rosters. Let's go back to the report tab and say equals count ifs. And we're counting what? We want to count the number of players. Count ifs. comma, and then we go back to the report tab, boom, number of players for Panthers is zero because we don't have any in there yet for the Panthers, however, for high drama, we have 11 and the captain is Ella, now we need a count of the first year players, great, equals, count ifs, This range, comma, 
and that's the team comma now the criteria range two we go back to fees and teams we're going to highlight this range rosters in season and then we can say comma one one first year player on high drama and see what happens when we move this around Leopards have two first-year players. Turmeric, three first-year players. Coffee, four first-year players. Total fees paid equals some ifs. $1,340 in fees. Now let's get a count of the people on the coffee team who have not paid their fees. Equals count ifs. Two people have not paid their fees. So we've got the data that we want. Beautiful. Okay, so we have the teams that have people that have not been accounted for yet. So what we have to do is bring them in. Now we can want to copy and go down here and paste in the new data. Great. Let's go to our report. The Mellow. $860 in fees and four people not paid. Their captain is Brian. Let's well, see. By using the drop down list, we did not have to have nine pages, nine pages worth of the same formulas, and then go add three more. And then somebody says, okay, we've got another team that has to be added in. Now you've got 13 spreadsheets. No. Mm -mm. So this is a pretty simple example, but I've seen this a lot, where there have been as many as 50 pages that we got rid of and consolidated them down to one page because we never would need to see all of those 50 sheets at one time. Never ever in life. So it made sense to bring everything into one page and put that stuff in the drop down list for when it's needed. Another time there was um, 12 worksheets but there was hundreds of formulas on each sheet. So if you go and move a column, move a row, you might need to modify a formula on the 500th row. Doing that 12 times? Oh, hell no. You've seen how a drop down list can help keep your data together. Keep it consolidated. You don't have to do a lot of work. You can modify things if you have to. It's easy. So get to know your drop-down lists. Get to know your tables. And think about spreadsheet layout. So that you don't have to work so hard. All right? Keep your data clean.